Hi, my name is Mike and in today's video I've got a multi-parter here as I'm doing the teaching about the events before the gathering. Uh, so what events must occur before the gathering? As many say that nothing needs to happen, but as we delve in scripture and I'll use multiple areas of the scriptures to prove that will be events have to happen before the rapture. Okay, um, let me start with 2 Thessalonians 2, 1 to 4, to see what Paul says about the gathering. Now we, must be, now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he, as God, sit in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So as we read from 2 Thessalonians 2, 1 to 4, first the falling away must happen first and then the Antichrist reveals himself sitting in the temple of God. Is that a literal temple? Let's read 1 Corinthians 3.16. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in your midst? And 1 Corinthians 6. Uh, 19. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. Um, so, um, let me continue. So it shows that the Antichrist will possess, sit in a temple, a body. Uh, so when will that occur? Well, if we read Mark chapter 13, the apostles asked Jesus about the destruction of the Jewish temple and the signs of the last days. Let's concentrate on the signs of the last days. We'll start at Mark 13, 8. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, so war, and there will be earthquakes in diverse places and there shall be famines and troubles. Um, and there, these are the beginning of sorrows. And in, and in Matthew 24, 7, it says also that nation will rise against nation, famines and pestilences as well. And verse 10 of uh, Mark, And the gospel must be first be published among all nations, but then, um, and then the um, end will come. But And it also in verse 12 to 13 it says, Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son, and children shall rise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death, and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So the falling away first, as described in Paul, uh, by Paul in Second Thessalonians, it, it describes here that you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And if you read on to verse 24, but in those days after that tribulation, so what tribulation? Well, the being hated, the falling away, and all these other events that are described. After these, it says here on verse 24, but in those days after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, the moon shall not give her light, and the stars of heaven shall fall. So Satan and his demons will fall. Time to, for the Antichrist to rise. And I carry on. And the powers that are in the heaven sh heavens shall be shaken, and then they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then shall he and his angels uh, shall send his angels, and they shall gather together his elect, from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. So Jesus won't come to gather, to gather until all these events above happen. Persecution, Satan and his demons fall, 
stars fall from heaven, sun and the moon darken. Anyway, I'll leave it there uh, as it's getting quite long, and I'll do a part two. God bless. Bye-bye.